Alright, so I wanted to bring a video on this a few days ago, but I had limited time and had other videos that had priority, I felt. But, you know, this is really big news, and I want to talk about it. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 announced at Jump Festa 2017 and why it's sort of a big deal. If you're like me and you were a huge fan of Dynasty Warriors like a decade ago, and you just felt like the series kind of lost a little bit of its luster, you know, it's still very fun to go back to. But part of you really wishes the series would have just evolved. Well, now that definitely seems like what is happening. Koei Tecmo is pushing this, is promoting this as an open world Dynasty Warriors. And is intended to be a rebirth of the franchise. Now, honestly, this is going to be a major title for Koei Tecmo. And this game has definitely been a long time in the making right now. So, they're pushing it as an open world game. What do you really think about that? Based on the teaser trailer, it looks like they're planning to flesh out the Three Kingdoms more than they ever have in any previous game. The last few Dynasty Warriors titles have really been about improving the gameplay, so now it looks like they're expanding in different ways, which is definitely what this series needs, and I honestly think if they deliver on an actual somewhat open world experience, then it'll definitely revive the franchise to what it once was over a decade ago. If you were ever a fan of Dynasty Warriors, I feel like this is a reason to be excited. It was a series I played so much throughout my childhood, and it just it has such a great place in my heart. So for Koei Tecmo to give this the love it deserves, that that's awesome. And there will be new playable characters for this Dynasty Warriors. Confirmed as of right now is Joe Kong, who will be in the upcoming Masuo Stars as well. He was a general of the Yellow Turbans who later pledged his loyalty to Guan Yu, and he's completely fictional. And taking a look at all of the concept art, you see how many things, how many different locations they're actually planning. Between docks, towns, mountains, temples. I mean, of course, all those things have been in Dynasty Warriors games before, but now the scope of it, the scope of it! These are actually drawn to scale of what Koei and Omega Force has planned then this game is going to be absolutely insane. I'm not sure what changes they're actually making to the gameplay field or to the actual gameplay. I honestly think for the most part it's going to be the same that we've all come to know and love. I believe the open world will act more like a hub almost in between the battles. Now what's really important here is what happens in between battles. See that's one thing that Dynasty Warriors really has needed to work on in my opinion. Uh, empires, amazing. Having the troops and taking control of the map, honestly I do want to see some empires features implemented to this. I don't know if they have nine empires planned because they are, like I said, they're planning a rebirth for the franchise. So honestly it'd be really cool if they just implemented a lot of those features into the main games. Playing as characters from the three different kingdoms and going through their stories and just being on different parts of the open world. Uh, traveling, maybe getting to travel by boat. I'm trying not to have too high expectations, but I definitely think there is a lot they can do. They've been experimenting a little bit with Dynasty Warriors with literally every single title they release, but this one is the most ambitious one yet. And honestly, since it's open world, we need to have other things to do in it. We need to honestly have side missions, side battles. If there's one thing I can try to call for sure is that we are getting the best story we've gotten they have a much greater avenue to retell the stories and the battles that we all remember. So yeah, I want to keep this short because we don't have a ton to go on. But with this announcement, you're definitely going to see me talking about Dynasty Warriors more. And uh, definitely getting back into the games. Because I really want to enjoy this and cover it leading up to release. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. How hype are you? What's one thing you really want to see change in Dynasty Warriors 9? Put any thoughts you have in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on Dynasty Warriors. I also do other anime related content. I right, thank you guys very much for watching. It's been really real and I'll talk to you in the next one.